Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at BeFi, which is used to simply create and operate AI native apps based off of GPT-4, as well as other different LLMs. Now, DeFi offers a comprehensive platform for building web applications quickly and effectively. Now, with DeFi, developers can swiftly create web apps and the front end code generated can be hosted directly on the platform. Now, for those who are looking to further develop and customize their web apps, you can use DeFi to provide templates on GitHub that can be deployed anywhere, be it on Versal or even your own server. Now, this flexibility shows and allows users to have full control over your own application and choose hosting environments that are best suited for your own needs. Now, alternative to this, users can basically utilize DeFi's web API as well as other APIs to create their own web front end mobile apps as well as other applications that are associated with this without having any worry about extensive back-end development. Now you might be wondering what is the actual purpose of utilizing this? Well the central concept behind DeFi as well as its worth is to simplify application development processes by employing a visual interface. Now this approach enables developers to create, configure, and continuously improve their own application in a streamlined manner. Now, the development process based on large language models involve a different type of life cycle of continuous improvement. So as the actual application involves, developers or users might need to fine tune the AI's responses to ensure correct answers based off the application's content is correct. Now, additionally to this, improving the AI's accuracy and narrative style becomes essential to enhance the user's experience. And this is what DeFi allows as you're basically able to have this creative use of different types of extraction from different contents, data to help use as well as help verify the right use of the context for the AI to improve and generate certain things. Now, as an essential aspect of DeFi's compatibility, it supports Langchain, which demonstrates the platform's commitment to evolving alongside advancement in language models. Now, with the support for like different language models, such as like OpenAI's GPT-4, you have access to 3.5 Turbo, as well as many other things such as like Azure and Entropic Cloud 2. And what it does is that it ensures that developers have access to the cutting edge language models to power their application. So guys, in today's video, we're just gonna showcase how you can actually simply create and operate your own AI native applications based off of DeFi's user interface, showcasing you the true capabilities of this amazing application and how you can actually use it on your own day-to-day -day apps. We're also gonna take a look at some of the key features and showcase some of the cool complications that are associated with this amazing application. So with that thought, guys, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go to Twitter. Definitely give this a follow if you guys haven't already. I opened up a Patreon page, so if you wanna go join the membership, definitely do so you can, so you can get access to the world of AI on Discord. And there's like a lot of features down there so you can check it out if you have time. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do so, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Now, let us actually take a look at some of the key features for this application. With DeFi, it revolves around the compatibility of deploying different AI applications based off the advanced model of GPT-4. So it puts emphasis on an easy and visual operation whenever people are using this application. So with DeFi, you can create AI powered apps, which is incredibly fast and efficient, which we'll showcase later on in the video. And it basically enables developers to go from an idea of deployment in just minutes. Whether it's intended for like an internal team or for external release, this platform can be used to streamline this process of deployment as well as de reducing the actual time to go to the market significantly. Now, DeFi's unique strength lies in its ability to leverage data as context for AI applications. It allows users to actually utilize various types of data such as documents, web pages, or content such as like Notion. It provides context to the input for the AI model, which makes it so much easier and remarkable that DeFi can automate the essential tasks like text processing, as well as segmentation that eliminates the need for developers to learn complex embedding techniques. So this automation is not only for acceleration development, but also saves developers weeks of tedious work, which makes it so much easier in the process to access a wider range of individuals for these diverse technical tasks. 
If you take a look over here, there are some amazing application types as well as templates that you can actually create right away from just clicking launch. Now you can see there's an AI power chatbot. You, you can utilize different LMs such as the ones that we mentioned previously, like GPT-4, 3.5, Claude, and many more. You have a code generation application, an SQL generator, a news content writing application, as well as a summary extract, and many more. This is just a few of them examples that are listed on their website. Now you can also have a simple set of APIs which you can design based off the backend on a service concept. So you will need to only I need the access of an API interface to complete the integration of a plugin. So it's fairly easy to integrate certain other applications within this whole DeFi project. Now there's continuous improvement, obviously, and there's one amazing feature that I want to talk about as there's a feature in which you can continuously have edits that are working alongside you as you work with your project so that it improves the functionality of whatever you're working on. Another cool thing is that you have a compatibility with ChatGPT plugins. You can utilize different things that are associated with ChatGPT. It supports different models, which we stated. You can use your own data and you can create these apps very easily. And this is something that we're going to be showcasing in the next step of the video. Now, you can actually install this fairly easily if you want on your own local host. You'll need Docker, Python, Visual Studio Code and Git. So once you have these applications installed, it's fairly easy. You just got to clone the repository by copying this link, going into your command prompt, typing in git command or git clone, sorry, and pasting the link. And once that is done, you're able to click enter and you can start cloning the repository. And once you're into the actual folder, you just type in CD, uh, DeFi, sorry, CD DeFi and click enter once again. And then once you're in that, you can start installing the dependencies by typing in pip install to install the requirements that are needed. And this is when you can actually load up Docker Compose, which will then compose the actual application with Docker. And you'll be easily able to access this application on your local host after that. But in this case, I'm just going to showcase how you can do it with the local host as it's fairly easy to do so. Now, there's also a document page in which you can get a better idea as well as a lot of question answering as to what you can do with DeFi. Uh, you will get more understanding of the application, some of the cool things that you can do with prompt engineering, text generation, uploading your data. So if you want more context like that, you should definitely check out the docs, which you can access from their DeFi GitHub repo, which I'll leave all the links in the description below. Now to actually access DeFi on the cloud, you need to click on the get started and connect your GitHub repo account or sorry, not your GitHub account. So once that is associated with DeFi, we'll be at the next step and I'll showcase you a little bit more demos about this application. So once you have connected your GitHub account with DeFi, you can start creating your own applications fairly easy. Now, if you click on the Explore tab, you have different categories of apps, templates that are already ready to deploy right away. If you wanna have your own legal advisor, you can set that up. You can have, have your own game application set up in your own workspace. You can even customize it and play around with it so that you can edit the code of what these templates have already so that you can basically have your own certain things set up. Now, if you want a code interpreter, you can add this to your workspace, which is right over here, and you can start chatting. So you can now start telling it to do things. In this case, I want to just write something that is fairly easy. Write me a basic Python code for a snakes and ladder game and you can just chat it up and it will start doing these things and i'm just going to click stop generating because it's going to take a little bit longer but we can see it does it fairly easy and quite fast now one thing i want to showcase is the models associated with this as well as the plugins so if you are to click on the DeFi settings drop down menu over here, you can then go into the settings integration. You can obviously connect your Google account, but there's no point because you have your GitHub account connected. You can add different members, but in terms of model providers, you can actually have different models selected. In this case, you can have your GitHub account. This is a trial, so we're not going to be utilizing the different model that is like the GPT-4 model as we're utilizing the 3.5 model at this current moment as a trial. But you can also input your uh, different API keys for like Azure OpenAI service API key here. 
Entropic key over here, as well as your GPT-4 key. Now there's different data sources that you can connect, which is Notion. And for plugins, you can connect your Serip API key. So it's fairly easy to integrate these plugins, as well as these things that will be required to integrate to help it function even more. Now, if you go to the plugins tab, actually, you can, this is something that they're gonna be implementing very shortly. And these are gonna be some things that are integrated so that you can create with ChatGPT compatibility. Now, one cool thing is its data set feature. And this is where you can implement different data that is like different types of data, like sources to be input into the actual application so that you can utilize it to read, have some sort of memory when it operates as a chatbot or like even in certain cases if you want it to act a certain way with your data it can do so by uploading certain text files sync it with notion as well as from something like a website which is coming soon so there's different like application files that you can submit uh if you want it to chat with a certain type of pdf you can make it do so with this application and these are some of the cool things that you can do as well as upload now I'm going to showcase something by building an application of my own so that you get a better idea of how you can do so. Now guys, I'm going to click on build apps over here, create a new app. You can create your own chat app, which you can be used to help chat with certain things, or you can have a text generator, which could be used for different things. So in this case, I'm just going to write world of AI app, and we'll just create a basic text generation all right let's do a chat app and from this you can click on the preview and start checking out the chat obviously we have nothing connected with this embedding of this application but we can have different prompt engineering set up so that it responds to certain variables or applications of what prompt we give it now there's an api access that you can implement to so that it utilizes different apis that you wanted to associate it with and there's obviously a log which could be used to track what is being said or outputted. And once you have saved your, after you built your app, you can just preview easily in the preview and uh, you can start chatting with it fairly easy. And this is easy as that guys, deploying your own chatbot, your own application by copying the link. And the great thing is you can save the embedding so that you can implement it into your own workflow. So you can copy the code that is required for this so that you can implement it somewhere else. Say for example, your own website so that you can have it functioning on your own website as you utilize this DeFi's application that it built, that you just built from it. Now, in summary, guys, you can do a lot of things. You have different applications and templates in which you can generate certain types of apps that could be used for different things. Like in this case, you have a voice input optimization. You can create your own game app or your, have your own, own code interpreter built into a different type of website. Now, DeFi stands out as its own AI application development platform, which is going to be used for a lot of different use cases as it's quite advanced and it utilizes GPT-4 as well as other large language models to help you create AI native applications. So I hope you found this video to be quite beneficial for you and you got some sort of value out of it. It would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go give this video a like and share it around if you guys want to. Now, guys, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you check out my Patreon page if you want to be a member. Definitely do so as you will get a lot of amazing perks and it will definitely be very beneficial for you as you'll get access to the paid Discord account, which you can get access to a lot of amazing features that I'll be releasing very shortly. Now, in terms of the Twitter, make sure you give this a follow if you guys haven't, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can get a better idea of what is happening in the AI world with my videos. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.